guess who's back? I'm back filming finally. I'm getting my mojo back and today I'm gonna to be doing my everyday hair and makeup seeing as that's what you guys wanted to see me do. I put it on my Instagram and this one got the most votes so I guess I will be sitting here chatting to you. Literally not really chatting, I'll be talking to my camera but I will be chatting while doing my makeup so let's just get on with it. If you haven't already, you know what to do. Subscribe, turn on post notifications. So there's literally not much I do with my makeup, but I will show you guys anyway. But for now, I'm just gonna use these clips and just get my hair on my face because I don't like having my hair on my face when I do my makeup. So I'm not gonna bother moisturizing because I just haven't been bothered to do that. I probably should, but I just cannot be bothered. Right, so the first couple of things I'm gonna use, I just have my drawers down here, by the way, if you wonder like why I'm looking down. First two things I use is my Hydrate and Primer, favorite thing ever. This is by Revolution, I've mentioned this one before. And then I also use the number seven Airbrush Away Primer. If this is gonna focus, probably not, but you guys have mentioned it before. So I'm just gonna put that all over my skin. must stop. Look at this. I don't know how well you can see. I have spots all over my nose. I never get spots, so I do not know what's happening, but I'm getting them all over my nose, so brilliant. I'm just going to put that all on, like, my problem area, like my pores that are quite large. I don't know. I've never done a makeup tutorial before, so this should be fun. You guys can watch me fail. Love that. Why has my face gone red? Is it just from me rubbing it? That doesn't normally happen. Brilliant, pale already and we're only a couple minutes in. And then I just like to use my Revolution Primer, which is really runny by the way, this product like just comes out. And I mainly just pop this like under my eye area because around this section of my face, I get like really dry, probably because I don't bother moisturizing half the time, um, but yeah i get really dry so whenever i put like concealer or whatever it gets really bad so literally all i do for my brows is use a clear like eyebrow gel sometimes i go in with a pomade if i can be bothered but i could probably get my mirror out because i can't really see what i'm doing i'm using the viewfinder and i can't really see much and literally all i do is just brush them up they are in like desperate need of plucking but I really cannot be bothered, so I'm just gonna wait till the eyebrow place opens back up and get them done. All right, I think I am gonna go in with concealer next. So, because I don't like wearing heavy makeup at the moment with it being so warm, I'm just using the Lasting Perfection Collection neck concealer, and this is in one because I'm the pale little bitch. But we gotta cover these little spots. Probably can't see them that much on camera, but they are not pretty. Just using a BH Cosmetics number four brush. This is like a, I don't know how to explain. It's like a buffer brush, but it's quite skinny. So it's quite easy to do like this kind of area. But, oh my God. Oh, nice save, Amy. And then I just go over with the excess that's on the brush. I just go across my eyelids because I've got very pale eyelids. So you can see like all my veins and stuff, which I do not like. But that is all blended out. Sometimes depends on how dry my skin is. I will literally just go in and just set it because um, I have crease, not crease skin, but my skin likes to crease a lot. Freeze and break. Okay. I just put this around my head. I need to kind of use my mirror here. I just do a tiny bit on my cheekbones, otherwise I can never blend it out. A bit on my chin. A tiny bit on my nose because I actually contour my nose in a very specific way. I can't stand foundation at the moment. I only tend to wear it in like winter time. Sometimes I don't even wear it then. Um, I prefer like the more natural makeup look now, I feel. I'm not really a big full coverage kind of gal like I used to be on my Instagram. But I will occasionally, but not that much. Now I normally just go in with that amount. Obviously you can do more you want but this is fine for me a nice bronzy little look so you can't i can't tell whether it looks orange on camera it's not because i've got my mirror next to me but if you want to call me an impa Loompa, go for it see if i care the bronzer i use is the revolution bronzer reloaded so this is the bronzer i use it's a bit dirty please excuse the packaging i am unfortunately still having problems with my breathing so at any point if i seem really out of breath that is why because 
I just, I'm not getting enough oxygen into my body and I want to cry. Right, so I actually saw this hack that Nikki Tutorials did. I saw it on TikTok. And basically she covers her entire nose in bronzer and then like, I can't remember. I'll show you the steps on how it is, but I'm gonna see if it works. I'm gonna try it today. This could absolutely butcher my makeup, but we're gonna try it anyway. She goes in with a dry beauty blender and some like setting powder. I don't know whether she uses like baking powder or normal. I think I might try this one. Basically, she just gets it all on here. Just carves like how skinny she wants it. So Anybody that knows me knows I absolutely hate my nose. So I will do anything to make it look skinnier without having to get a nose job. That is something I will never get and I stand by that. Actually, I have no problem with anybody that does you do you boo, but personally, I would never. Then, I am now just gonna brush off all the powder. Then, we're gonna go in with a bit of highlight as well. Um, personally, I think my nose looks the same. If anything, it looks bigger, but we're just gonna go with it anyway. Not much I can do now. And then, now I'm just gonna quickly do a bit of blush. So I'm gonna do my Milani Luminoso blush that I so dearly love. I'm just gonna apply this to like my cheek and like just my cheek area really. Sometimes I put some on my nose, but obviously we contoured today, which didn't really work out. But I love the real like rosy look. So please excuse if it looks really pink. So now I'm just going to highlight my face. So I'm just gonna go back in with obviously my favorite highlighter of all time and I'm just taking this on a setting brush by Real Techniques it's a setting brush but I think it works really well for highlights so let's get this out and I just put this on the highest points I don't bring it down too far because sometimes I don't feel like it looks very nice I don't feel like it looks very natural so this is a this is my everyday makeup look but I really want to do like an everyday glowy makeup look because I'm like a sucker for when it comes to like wet looking makeup I love anything glowy I'm not a matte girl at all right so skin is nice and glowy now love that for me then I just go in with like a domed brush this is the BH cosmetics brush in number 10 I got a set off beauty bay they're really good brushes they're amazing I to highlight my brow bone and my inner corner because gotta be glowing lovely but now I am going to do a bit of bronzing on the eyelids sometimes well actually I'll probably say 80% of the time I do like the fox eye winged eyeliner not doing that today because I just haven't got the energy just going back in with my bronzer and I literally just smoke out my crease so now we have done the eyes I'm going to move on to mascara. Now I'm going to go in with the Last Sensational by Maybelline. Best mascara ever. Very cheap. Definitely pick it up if you want a good mascara. As you can see, they are very long. This is a very lengthening mascara. My eyelashes do like to clump sometimes, but they look alright. Obviously, if you had a pair of like natural eyelashes, you can do that as well. I do on the odd occasion wear them, but sometimes I'd rather just stick to mascara. Or obviously some people do have eyelash extensions, which I wish I had right now. And I need my eyelash lady, Hannah. I need my eyelashes done really badly. She is amazing at doing eyelashes. Oh my God. She did my eyelashes back in February and they lasted so well. Take the remainder of what was on that brush, which I did my eyeshadow with and I'll just do that. Smoke that out along the bottom of my lash line. Lastly, for face, obviously I cannot not do my lips. So I'm going to be taking my favourite lip liner, which is the MUA lip liner in Caramel Nugget. Nougat, don't know. Yes, I do like to overline my lips just because I have skinny little lips and I don't like them. I just like to use a lip gloss, so I'd rather use the Fenty one or I use the Sugar Bomb by... Benefit. I why did oh, my I tell them mind blank. I've been having a lot of mind blanks lately, but hey ho. Now we have catfish lips. Right, so I think for today I am going to straighten. Ow! That really hurt. I think I'm going to straighten this fugly ugly hair. So now we're gonna get the hair straightened out. Today I'm just using the Babyless Babyless. Call it what you want, I don't know. I would use my ones, but I they're stuck right at the bottom, back of my jaw and my tripod's in the way and I don't want to move it, so we're going to have to make do. I just pinch a bit of my sister's heat protectant. I only... Oh my god. That went in my eye. Anyway, 
I just used two, so many if you're watching, please don't come for me. I apologise. Then I just like to brush that through my hair. I actually barely use heat on my hair, but just for the sake of this video, we're gonna be doing it. Oh my gosh, that's stupid. This is a joke. I'm just gonna shave it all off. I don't bother sectioning my hair. I literally just take random strands, because my hair is fairly straight anyway, but I just take like random bits and I just straighten them. Right, that's one side. Straight in and it's burning my face and I'm sweating like a kind of window because it makes too much noise and oh my god I need to stop complaining. So that will do. Turn those off, don't want to burn the house down. So as you can see now my hair is completely dead straight, stuck to the top of my head, look like a fugly god knows what and yeah. The lighting really is not doing any of this justice, just making me look ten times worse but you have to love yourself before you can love others. Susan joking that's not my quote but anyway you gotta love yourself first and I, I I cannot seem to love myself right let's try and I don't know give us some volume address at the end of the chat now I need somebody ASAP to sort this shit out I can't take it no more anyway that is my hair and makeup done now not much to it it's quite simple anyone can follow it so now I'm just gonna sit and eat the rest of my raisins and yeah so if you haven't already you know what to do hit the subscribe button turn on post notifications if you don't then why are you even here you can't just come watch my videos without subscribing joking it's fine but i actually noticed that like half of my so, like people that watch my videos aren't even subscribed so please just hit the subscribe button it literally takes two seconds it mean the world so my content is going to be changing up a little bit i'm going to be doing some more old school videos i will pop up some stuff on my instagram to kind of give you guys a sneak peek but i'm really excited to film at this kind of content it's real like alicia marie kind of vibes like 2014 2015 that was my favorite time on youtube wish it could go back to that time but it can't so i will be doing some more videos like that so yeah follow me over on my socials if you want to keep up to date with what's going on so i guess i will see you guys at the end of the week for another video bye <laughs>